hello friends in this video i will show you how to interface raspberry pi pico with other microcontroller using rs485 protocol so rs485 is one of the most popular communication port protocol in industry because of its long distance capability and noise immunity in this video i will show you how you can communicate between Raspberry Pi Pico and other microcontroller like Arduino. To more about this interfacing, visit embeddedthere.com. So let's get started. If you want to communicate your Raspberry Pi Pico with other microcontroller in a long distance, say about 20 or 30 meter, you must need RS485 communication protocol. So, if you want to communicate your Pico with other microcontroller, you must need a Max 485 TTL module. This module converts the UART protocol into the RS485 protocol. So, the main pins of Max 485 module are RORE. D, E and D. If you want to know about Max 45 in description and the features of Mac Max 45 module, then visit embeddedthere.com. Now move into the Raspberry Pi Pico UART communication. Raspberry Pi Pico ha uh, has two UART communication, the UART 0 and UART 1. In our project, we will use UART1 so that we define we will define GPIO8 as TX and GPIO9 as RX. To compile your code without any error, you must install a board manager in your Arduino ID. So to install this board manager, go to your Arduino ID then go to tools and board and click board manager sorry again go to tools and board and select board manager then search for arduino embed os rp2024 boards then install this this board manager i have already installed this board manager so in this time i is skip this after in installing so your board manager is ready connect your raspberry pi pico and arduino nano with max 45 module with this circuit diagram now move into the programming part in this project i will use UART1 of Raspberry Pi Pico. So I define GPIO8 as TX pin and GPIO9 as RX pin. Then define the GPIO pin 12 as RS485 control pin. In the setup function, select the baud rate 9600 of serial and serial 2. Set the RS485 control pin as output and make it high. In the loop function, to transmit your data to your slave, you must set the RS485 control pin as high. After that, if serial is available, that means you write something on your serial, min uh, on your serial monitor then this this character will store in the led control integer and serial dot read function will read this character and store it to led control integer if you write the character one on your serial monitor then this one will transmit to your to your a slave and the LED is on 
that is connected to your slave and if you write zero on your serial monitor then this zero will transmit uh, to your slave using rs485 protocol then the led is off that is connected to your slave if you want to read some data from your slave then you must set the rs485 control pin as low then um, if serial 2 is available that means if uh, some data is pushed to serial 2 mon uh, serial 2 to then you will uh, you will s um, see the same string on your serial monitor that is coming from your slave now move into the slave coding section in our project we use arduino nano as as our we define digital pin number 2 as rx and and digital pin number 3 as tx pin then we we declare this uh, rx and uh, tx pin in the software serial function then define the R rx485 control pin as digital pin 5 and define the led pin as a digital pin 7 in the setup function select the baud rate 9600 for serial and my serial then set the uh, rs485 control pin as output and make it low for receiving data from uh, from master set the led pin as output and make it low in the loop function to receive data from master you must set the rs485 control pin as low then if my serial available that means if data is coming from master then a receive data integer store this incoming character then if the character is one then the led is is on for two seconds that is connected with your arduino nano and if the character is zero that is coming from your master R, then the led is low after that if you want to send some data to your master then you you must set the rs485 control pin as high and write something on your serial monitor and this this uh, uh, string or character something like that at uh, will send to your master now move into the uploading part so to upload master code go to tools and boards and click uh, arduino embed os r rp2024 boards and select raspberry pi pico then connect your raspberry pi pico and again go to tools and select port and select the right port that is connected to raspberry pi pico in my case com7 click com7 and next hit the upload button Thank you. 
Now to upload slip code, go to slip code and simply just click tools and select board, uh, click board and select Arduino ABR boards and select Arduino Nano. Then connect your Arduino Nano and go again go to tools and select the right port that is connected with your PC. In my case, this is COM5. Select COM5. Then hit the upload button. Now, 